So here's a technical term that I'm sure everybody has heard but you may not know all the details about it. It's Wi-Fi. Wi-Fi is something that just about everybody uses and throws around the term. But do you really know where it came from and what it means? One of the things most people don't realize is Wi-Fi really doesn't stand for anything. It basically it was kind of a pun on high fidelity. You know, instead of Hi-Fi, Wi-Fi. But the FI doesn't stand for anything and the WI could be wireless but I mean it would also mean wired. So it really doesn't stand for anything. It was actually a term that uh, some brand experts came up with around 1999 to describe a set of standards. The only real use for the term Wi-Fi is when talking about Wi-Fi certification or Wi-Fi certified. So there is something called the Wi-Fi Alliance and it's a whole bunch of companies and they basically enforce standards. So if you want to say that your device is Wi-Fi certified then you actually have to get it certified. It actually has to meet certain criteria. So it works on various devices that also say they use Wi-Fi. Of course it's going to work with that. I mean nobody would buy the device if it didn't work with that. But it's nice to know that devices sometimes are Wi-Fi certified. Nobody really pays attention to it because pretty much all the devices you get from major brands are Wi-Fi certified. Now Wi-Fi certified, the certification is actually adhering to a standard called IEEE 802.11. And you may have seen this before. We used to talk about it a lot more as things were in development. You know, you get a new Mac and they'd say, well, this new Mac uses 802.11n. And uh, in order to take advantage of that you need a Wi-Fi base station that also uses 802.11n. And originally we all used devices that were 802.11b and then G was a better one and then we went to N. And now AC is pretty standard around and there are other ones in between these. Basically each one builds on the last promising faster speeds, greater distances, things like that. And there's always backwards compatibility. So if you have a device, something, a computing device you actually hold in your hand or use uh, that uses 802.11g and you have a base station that's 802.11ac then it will work. It doesn't work the other way around though. If the base station is only 802.11g and you have a device that uses 802.11ac you're not going to be able to use things at that speed. It's going to drop all the way back to 802.11g speeds. So. Uh, for best compatibility you want to make sure everything is the latest. Um, but it's really a non-issue for most people. people. Uh, anything 802.11n or after is going to seem pretty fast uh, and all devices kind of are way past that by many years. Now when we talk about Wi-Fi we talk about things like base stations. So these are the actual things you're connecting to. Of course Wi-Fi is also in your iPhone. It's in your iPad. It's in your Macs. Any device you've got, even you know, Wi-Fi enabled cameras and other devices, things like that. But the base station is what they all connect to. And they could be things like the Airport Extreme or some other brand of base station. Uh, even commercial ones. So you know the one there, one you may see like in the ceiling of a coffee shop or something like that. Um, so there's all sorts of different ones. Nowadays they're built into the devices that you might get from your DSL or cable modem company. It may come with a device that hooks up to their phone or cable system and also has a Wi-Fi antenna in it. So they don't have to be independent devices like the Airport Extreme is independent and you connect that. So you have two devices like I do, a DSL modem and then an Airport Extreme connected to that. A lot of people today have a single device. This is why things like the Airport Extreme are kind of going away for consumers. It's because it's easy for the DSL and cable modem companies to build Wi-Fi into their modems. So you don't need to get another device. Now terminology gets a little cloudy if you talk to people and see what they call these devices. It seems like technically base station is probably the best term. It's the term Apple uses and it's also the term you thrown around on Wikipedia a lot when talking about this. So base station is one of those devices that sets up a Wi-Fi network. But people call them other things. You hear people call them a router, a hub, certainly a hotspot, a gateway, antenna, you know, obviously antenna is a part of this, but people just say my Wi-Fi antenna is over there. A transmitter, of course actually it's transmitting and receiving. 
uh, a network switch or access point or even just calling it a modem. And Of course a modem is a separate thing but as I said they're combined now. You get a modem that has Wi-Fi in it so people just call the whole thing the modem. Any of these terms are fine. They're technically correct probably in some way or another uh, but they are thrown around a lot so it kind of clouds the waters in terms of understanding what somebody's talking about when they use one of these terms. In most cases they're talking about a Wi-Fi base station.